Hi everyone, Fintan here from Dams and Cloud, and this week I wanted to cover a new feature that dropped recently in Gemini called Take Notes for Me. It's one of the most popular ones and certainly one that we have used a lot ourselves internally. I covered recently in our Gemini series uh, an overview of Gemini security, a very important area for a lot of customers. My colleague Noel covered a, a demo and, and, and run through of the Gemini product. And I also covered kind of a general overview of Gemini as well as the SKUs and plans that are, that are available now for uh, customers. If you haven't seen those, check out the links below on our Gemini series and also hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see uh, updates like this. In this video, I'd like to explore the feature's capabilities how to actually turn it on. Uh, there's also uh, ways that you can set it uh, up to take notes for you in meetings kind of going forward if you've got a recurring meeting. So we're gonna cover that in Google Calendar. And also just a couple of watch points as well, as well as the SKUs, um, which is another word for plans, um, that, that uh, give you this feature. Okay, so let's get into it. So there are three main areas to the take notes for me uh, feature. One is obviously the automatic capturing of the meeting notes. The other is the summarization. So it will take notes in the transcription and then it will summarize the actual um, sort of uh, minutes or, or notes for the meeting. And it will give you the summary when you join the call. So this allows people who've maybe been a bit late to the call to kind of read through and catch up. Uh, but then the note taking will be sent in a Google Doc afterwards attached to the, um, to the Google Calendar and also sent to the host or co-hosts. And then the final piece is kind of a delegation, so next actions. As I said, it's important to caveat that this feature is brand new. We've seen dramatic improvements in the note taking even over the uh, few weeks or, or, or month or so that we've been using it internally. We were on the alpha for it. Uh, and as I said, now that it's dropped, it's really at a point where I think most customers can use it, but Google are gonna continue to improve this uh, over time. So I want to actually start out by demonstrating this. In this um, demo here, <clears throat> I'm going to join a meeting. And we can, well, I'm, I'm assuming you're familiar with Google Meet. So I have my meeting here, I can uh, do the usual stuff. If the Gemini is taking notes already, it will tell the participants before they join. So it will actually come up here. I'm gonna click join now, and I'm gonna join the call. You guys can see me. Um, and I'm going to scroll up to, or, or browse up to the top right hand corner. And we can see the little icon for Gemini, which is kind of like the little star or gem, and then the pencil. And that's the take notes for me feature. So we can see it here and it's automatically ticked tick to transcript, tra transcribe the meeting because I already um, have used that. Um, and so I can untick that if I want, or I can I can leave it on. Or, so, so you can do the transcription um, and you can do the meeting notes or just the meeting notes. I generally do both, but you don't have to. You can also obviously record the actual meeting itself that's recording the video and audio on it. So I can click start on that and we can see it working away. The transcription is coming up on the top left and the take notes for me is coming up on the top right. And we can see that it's starting to take notes. Um, and I can actually, as I said, stop these individuals. So I could stop the transcription but I could leave the minute notes being taken. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of a, here's one I made earlier. So I'm gonna stop the note taking there. And I'm gonna close that because I've actually had this running um, earlier on so that it would start to take notes for me. Now I was hoping that it would uh, have some of the notes in here. It does take a little bit of time because it needs to actually get an amount of, uh, um, I suppose, audio and text um, from the, the meeting to transcribe. But, but once you do, it will appear in here. Now, while we're waiting on that to transcribe a few things, I'm just gonna show you in Google Calendar how to set up the note-taking before the call. Because often I find, particularly myself now, I, I use Gemini to take notes for me, but sometimes I forget to turn it on. And particularly with those recurring meetings with customers or um, with my team, it's useful to just have it, just do it, just transcribe the, the minutes uh, for you. So I'm gonna go into Google Calendar. I'm gonna create a little calendar appointment uh, for, I wouldn't hopefully be doing a meeting at seven o'clock, but we'll put it in here and we'll say um, team catch up. 
and then I'm going to add a Google Meet to the video call. So you do have to, or to the meeting, sorry. So you do have to add the video call. And then you go into the settings option here, or the video call settings. And this actually allows you to set up like lots of the settings uh, for your Google Meet for that call before you join. So you've got like host features and all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna go to Meet Recording, and I'm gonna select Take Notes uh, with Gemini, and I'm also gonna select Transcribe the Meeting and I'm gonna save it. And now what that means is that meeting will automatically um, have Gemini note-taking in it, okay? So when I go into that and I join the call as the, um, as the kind of primary participant, and we can see here, it's already letting me know that Meet will transcribe these notes and take notes uh, using Gemini. So it's warning the, the people who are um, joining it. I'm obviously the first person to join uh, and it's automatically starting the the Gemini note taking. So I would recommend that if you've got some sort of a recurring meeting or you're setting a meeting up with a customer. Otherwise, I do find myself, I just kind of forget. So I'm gonna go back into my other uh, um, Google Meet, and this is the one that's been taking notes for me. And we can see up in the top uh, corner, it's got a little purple and blue icon on it, the Gemini one. And now when I go into it, it says Tom Jones, in this case, I'm Tom Jones because I'm logged into the Tom Jones account, demonstrated how to use Gemini for note taking. So it's already put that into the, um, in, into the notes. And so if someone joins the call late, they can have a read through the notes and you can click update if you want, if there's anything to add, give it a thumbs up if you think it's good. So I'm gonna click stop note taking now. I'm gonna finish that and stop the transcription. And then you can see uh, notes aren't been taken here. If you just exit the call, whoever is the last person to exit it, it will, um, when the meeting's completely closed off, it will stop taking the notes. What I would say is get into the habit of stopping it because if you have a call and then say, most people leave and one or two people um, stay and they have a, a, a further conversation about something else, that will also get taken down in the notes if you don't stop the transcription and the note taking. So getting into that habit and teaching your team to get into that habit is um, probably an important thing to do. Uh, so I'm gonna close out of that now. I don't need that anymore. And then what will happen is I will get an email with um, the uh, meeting notes and I will also get, and uh, it will take a few minutes, I will also get the minutes attached to the call itself. So um, when the transcription is finished, so we can see the team catch up here, which was the other one. I didn't have this one on for very, very long. And we can see that it has summarized the meeting and also added the notes as well. So uh, Tom Johns presented Gemini's automatic note-taking feature, advocating for its use in recurring meetings. Again, I'm Tom Johns in this example. And uh, they emphasize the feature's ability to capture important details and prevent information loss. So that's kind of a highlight of the overall meeting. I found that to actually be pretty accurate. And then this is the bullet points of the meeting. And again, if there was more conversation and obviously you've got multiple people in it, uh, it will note-take and have, have multiple things there. Uh, and that gets attached to the calendar appointment for everybody and also gets emailed to anyone who is a host or a co-host, okay? So I'm gonna do a little refresh on here and hopefully my minutes have come in, yeah. And so we can see it links to the transcription um, and to the, the notes doc. So a reminder of what happens when the note uh, taking is finished, it's attached to the Google Calendar invite, it's emailed to the host and the co-host uh, and it's also in their My Drive. So it gets put into your Meet Recordings My Drive. A folder is automatically created. A couple of watch points. Uh, at the moment, it's available in English. Uh, I believe Google are looking at other languages or adding other languages. The device is a computer or laptop, so you don't have this feature currently on mobile. Again, I imagine they will be adding this. Um, and the, the host or the co-host I uh, do need to set this up and kick this off. Not everybody is able to, to do so. So it is that host or co -host. So if you're a guest of someone else, you don't have the control over starting the Gemini um, minute taking. Uh, and also stopping taking the notes. Uh, as I'd said previously, do try to get into the habit of going up to the blue um, little pen icon and stopping it. If everybody leaves, it will stop it. But I think 
as I've said, I've ended up in scenarios sometimes where you're chatting afterwards and your, your chats then afterwards are also being added to the minutes and maybe you've got to go back and delete them. Finally, I wanted to cover the SKUs or plans that have this particular feature available. So you will need Gemini Enterprise, which is the top plan that has absolutely everything, or one of Google's specific uh, plans. So they actually have an AI meeting and messaging plan which is aimed at customers that just want that kind of meeting and, and translation uh, and the Gemini note taking and all that kind of stuff uh, within Google Meet. It also allows you to do the Google Meet backgrounds and things like that. Um, now, that one is only $10 per user per month, whereas the Gemini Enterprise is $30 per user per month. So it depends on if you're looking for the AI security and all the other sort of Gemini stuff, or if it's just the minute um, sort of minute note taking. Uh, this is one of the most popular features we've seen within Gemini. It is incredibly valuable. Whereas before we had people come into meetings and manually taking notes and following up, Gemini is now taking the notes for us. Again, we're going in, we're checking it, we're, we're adding maybe some of our own stuff uh, from the meeting, but it just means you have this note taker there constantly taking notes and transcribing the meeting. And it just makes it so much more convenient. Uh, if you're interested in content like this, do come and um, check out our YouTube channel or LinkedIn or Twitter, uh, wherever you are on social media. Um, hit that subscribe button so that you don't um, miss any of our updates. We're running a Gemini series, as I said at the moment, and every couple of weeks we're doing a video on Gemini. So again, if this is something that you're interested in, uh, do hit that subscribe button. If you're interested in Google Workspace yourself or you use it, we sell uh, services around uh, Google Workspace. We help customers with security reviews, with training. Uh, training is very, very popular, particularly now with Gemini. We're also running Gemini uh, pilots and POCs. So again, if that is something that you're interested in, please reach out to our team uh, and we'll be happy to help. And that is it from me, guys. I will see you next week.